Hey guys, Liam here on Grady's Mom. I just got back, it's a rainy day, and I wanted to do some shopping because today was the start of the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, and then I also had to get a few things at Sephora, and I'm also gonna share in this haul a few things that I got beauty-wise from Amazon. So there's a lot of things here, so let's jump right in and I'll show you guys what I got. I'm gonna kick off this collective haul with my stuff from Bath & Body Works. Today is Monday, June the 4th, and it was the first day of the in-store Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. As you know, most of you, they only have these once or twice every year, once in June and once in January. So in June, I like to stock up for gifting things because I have a lot of friends with summer birthdays and obviously I wanted to get a few things for myself as well. I did have a $10 off 30 purchase. Um, so the subtotal for all of this was about 40 bucks and then I got $10 off. So I ended up paying only about around $30 for this. So. I'm going to run through everything I got from there. I got a Dark Kiss body lotion, which is a long discontinued or retired scent. It was always one of my favorites. It has like a little bit of a black raspberry vibe. So I got this. It was about, with my coupons, about $2. Second is for a gift. It is the Fiji Pineapple Palm Shea and Vitamin E body lotion. This was also about $2 and I'm going to gift this to a friend of mine along with a couple other items. She loves very tropical pineapple kind of uh, beachy scents. So I'm going to make a little gift basket or a little gift bag for her this summer and this is one of the items that's going to go in that. Next is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla Shea and Vitamin E Body Lotion. This was about $2 as well with my coupon. And this I'm just going to put in my gift closet to use in an, for an upcoming birthday or not even a birthday. It could be a thank you gift, a pick me up a gift, anything like that. But I like to have a stock and a wide variety of things in my gift closet, which I have done videos on before. If you're interested in seeing those, I will link the playlist down below. Next is a soap. This is for me, well, for our household. It is in the scent Endless Weekend, which is one of my favorite kind of current, like in the past few years, summer scents that they've released. Um, it's just a really good, fun, light, fresh summer scent. So this was on sale for $3, but with a coupon, it was more like a dollar and change or closer to $2. This is probably the most excited, the most thing, the thing I'm most excited about in this haul. It is the Rosewater Face and Body Refresher. It is alcohol free and it, the original retail is $18.50. It was on sale 75% off, which I think was like $4.60. And then again, with the coupon, it ended up being about $3. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. Again, it's a face and body refresher, which is perfect for summer. I love that it comes in a box too. I think it just gives it just a more, you know, a nicer effect, especially when you're going to be gifting this. And this is something that for sure will go in my gift closet and I will use it when I need it in like a little gift bag. And I feel like no one would ever know this was $3. Not that the cost matters. It's always the thought, but it's just a really nice gift and a really nice presentation for the price. Next up is this Amber and Argan. This is the uh, eight ounce tube body cream with pure Argan oil. This was originally $13.50 and it was 75% off. So with the coupon, it ended up being about $2. Um, also a tip, make sure you open all the caps to make sure there's not like lotion or cream that has leaked out all over the place. Um, so I made sure I checked. I even checked these guys. I popped them open and I make sure it's not all caked with like lotion that's been squeezed out. I make sure it's nice and clean um, just because, you know, I'm going to be gifting these items and I want them to be top notch for the recipients. Uh, but anyways, yes, about $2 for this. It smells really nice. This is also something that will go in my gift closet. I think a wide variety um, of people would like this scent and this product, so I'm very excited for that. I really loved this scent when it came out a few years ago. It's the Malibu Heat Shea and Vitamin E Body Lotion. Uh, by the way, all the body lotions retail are $12.50, but again, I paid about $2 for each. And again, I flipped open the cap to make sure it's not all sticky and, you know, gobs of lotion stuck in there because you'd be surprised how many of them are from people testing them or them being dropped, um, that kind of thing. And I also try to make sure I get a nice, clean-looking bottle that doesn't have, like, excess lotion or gunk on it. I'm really careful about that because, again, 
I gift most of the items I get from Bath and Body Works and I want them to be in top quality. So this was about $2. Um, this says on the back, um, it's like a beachy, sunny, uh, it has pineapple, orange, coconut flour, coconut milk, and sunny musk. It's a really great summer scent, so I'll put that in my gift closet as well. Or it might end up going together with this as part of um, my girlfriend's package in July. Next up, I grabbed another hand soap. Again, they were on sale for $3 each, and then with the coupon, it was about $2. This is the Watermelon Lemonade Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. It smells really good, and I'm excited to use this in our household. We go through a ton of um, hand soaps in this house, and we usually have about three bottles going at any given time, one in our kitchen and one in each bathroom. Um, the next thing is this almond and vanilla. This is from the Essential Oils Collection. Uh, it's made with natural almond oil. The original price on this was $15.50, and I got it with the coupon and the 75% off for about $2. Um, and this is something I think my mom would really like. My mom is really into very natural almond um, and essential oil type of things. And again, I made sure when I opened it that there wasn't a bunch of gunk around the rim. And it's going to be a really nice gift, whether it's for my mom or it ends up being for somebody else. I feel like this would appeal to a lot of people as well. And then I got one of the classic Bath & Body Works scents in the Cucumber Melon. This is the 24-hour Ultra Shea Body Cream. It's a very thick cream. The retail on this was originally $13, and then it was marked to $3.75, I believe. And then with a the coupon, it ended up being about $2.00. This is one of the classic scents from the 90s. I remember this scent when I was in high school and that was a very long time ago. So this will be a great gift option for someone down the road as well since so many people would like this scent. Lastly, these are the only two things I did not get on sale. Um, this was cheap, it was $1.75. And this is the My, Uni My Unicorn Made Me Do It antibacterial hand gel which is actually like a mango scent. Um, and I actually got this to go, it actually goes right in here. It's like a little holder. Um, this is for the giveaway that I'm doing on Friday for a meal planner. So I know that's irrelevant to this video, but that's why I purchased this. Um, this was $7.95, this little uh, antibacterial holder. But I just thought it was really cute um, and fun for the summer. So this is just going to be a little giveaway gift. Let's move on now to Victoria's Secret. All right, so in Victoria's Secret, I went to, immediately went to their beauty section, but on my way back, I actually saw these shorts that caught my eye. I love their line um, of shorts and sweatpants from the Pink Collection. Uh, these are like a regular oatmeal kind of color, pretty typical drawstring waist, pretty short. Um, I like that they have little zippered pockets, and then the back is just kind of your typical plain looking um, short. It's called the Boyfriend Short. Um, and these I never pay full price for. I always grab a pair, maybe, I don't know, every couple years. Uh, so originally they were $34.95, which I would never pay for these because of what they are. They're just a pair of sweatpants that are cut into shorts, let's be honest. Um, but they were marked down, obviously, for the sale for $17.99, so that is why I grabbed them. Um, mainly just for around the house, guys. When it gets hot in the summer, I like to just be comfortable, and I run pretty hot anyway. So I grabbed those, again, only because of the price. And then... At the beauty section, I was a little disappointed because normally they have a bunch of like lotions and sprays um, and even makeup, but I really didn't see anything that caught my eye. However, um, all their bath bombs uh, were $1.99. I have actually tried a uh, Victoria's Secret Pink bath bomb before. Um, I think it was last year. And they're like $7. Yeah, $6.95 is the original retail. But they were all marked to $1.99 for the sale. So I thought I would get one for myself and then three to go in the gift closet. So I got this Celestial Coconut one. It smells really good. I got this one here, um, which is Raspberry Pop. Uh, really cute. I also got the Tropic Berry. I think this is the one that I've tried the Tropic Berry, um, and I think I paid full price. I think it was last year, and it was actually really good, um, and I think bath bombs are, are overpriced as it is. Um, I do love them, but I don't really like to pay like the crazy lush prices. Um, sometimes it can be like 10 bucks, so $1.99 I thought was a great deal, and then this one here uh, is the Bright Peony. Uh, it's really pretty, and again, they were all originally seven, and I got them each for $1.99, so that was a pretty good deal, I thought, and they are full size bath bombs and then they had all their sheet masks on sale for 99 cents 
Uh, I think they're normally like five dollars. Um, yes, four ninety five. They're normally. I have tried a couple of their sheet masks before. Um, they're okay. They're not the best in the world, but they're pretty good. But for ninety nine cents. Um, these are great to throw in. I do a lot of gifting like I've mentioned um, and I do I like to make a lot of mixed gift bags. So I like to give someone maybe like a lotion, a body wash or a body scrub, a little mask. Um, I like to kind of do like a little pampering theme. So I thought for 99 cents, um, you know, that's a great deal just for somebody to do a little spa day at home. So this is the grapefruit super fruit sheet mask and this is the call me big papaya super fruit sheet mask so each of these were 99 cents and then let's move on now to sephora all right so at sephora i needed some specific things um and then one new thing that i wanted to try so the thing that i wanted to try that i've never tried before um first of all i am a huge origins fan i love their products um, I actually think their products for not being drugstore and being a higher end product are, are really, really good price wise. So this is the Origins Gin Zing Peel Off Mask to refine and refresh. I've mentioned in several videos, mainly my empties videos when I'm going over my empty products. I have problem skin. I also have aging skin since I am in my late 30s. So I am always trying to kind of, um, now that I'm getting older, take better care of my skin. I did not take care of my skin in my 20s whatsoever. I was a heavy smoker. I drank all the time. Um, I just didn't really use, I didn't do skin care. I just was very neglectful in my 20s of my skin. So now in my 30s I am paying for that so the lady there actually recommended this um, specific mask I told her I wanted a peel off mask so this is the one she had recommended um, it was like 20 something dollars but I know for a mask it's not something I will use all the time maybe I don't know once every two weeks or so so I don't mind paying a little bit more since I know it's gonna last me a good long while so I will let you guys know down the road what I think of this and then the other three items are items that I get all the time uh, these have truly been a game changer for me. It is the First Aid Beauty brand facial radiance pads, and these say it helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. They're alcohol-free, and they're also safe for sensitive skin, um, and they're 60 pads. So I use one a day so I can get two months out of this. They are $21, um, but for me, they have definitely made an improvement in my skin. I definitely think somebody with problem skin would benefit from this. Um, if you have really good skin, I don't know if they would do that much but I really love these I'm almost out of my current one so I got these as a backup so it's an easy transition when I run out and then I got my moisturizer that I have been obsessed with for the past I don't know maybe about a year now um, I got a sample of this about a year ago in like a gift with purchase and literally before the sample ran out I went out and bought a full-size um, jar of this this stuff is hands down the best moisturizer I've ever tried in my life. Um, I've tried everything from drugstore to higher end than this. Let me show you the consistency. It's just amazing consistency. Doesn't break you out. Doesn't make you oily. It's just so good. I cannot recommend this stuff enough guys. Um, it is a little pricey depending on what your idea of pricey is. I know everybody's opinion of that is different. This is about $50 ish for this size, which is the biggest one that they currently make 2.5 ounces. And it will last me about six to eight weeks, depending if I'm using something else um, and like alternating this, but this is by far the best moisturizer I've ever used ever for my face. And then lastly, a good old Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, I do go through these quite quickly, um, and I'm in the color dark brown, so focusing, which is formerly brunette, but yeah, this is my favorite eyebrow pencil ever, and I'm going to show you guys a few things I also got on Amazon. All right, so I have a few things here from Amazon. We did have one break. Um, so I have already contacted Amazon. They're going to send me out a new one, and it was actually this Bioderma. I'll show you guys the top it's broken right there I don't know if you could even see it but anyways um, this is the best micellar water I've ever tried um, I haven't gotten it in a long time to be honest I forgot about it 
um, and I recently saw it in a video that I was watching and I was like oh yeah I completely forgot about that stuff um, and it, it, it really is that good. Um, it is pricey compared to like things that you'd buy in the drugstore. Right now I'm using the Yes to Coconuts micellar water, which is like seven or eight dollars, I believe. Um, this on Amazon was like 15 ish, but it's a much bigger bottle than the Yes to Coconuts one. Um, that's about how much product I lost because the, um, the lid broke. So you can see it better right there. And it actually leaked all over the box. And it actually ruined this box. See how it's like all wet, um, which another product it was in. Luckily, the other couple products were fine. But anyways, I highly recommend this micellar water. Um, you can use it to remove makeup or just cleanse your face. Um, you know, kind of refresh your face if you don't want to wash your face at the time. It's just really good. This is a tried and true product, guys. You can look it up for yourself. It has great reviews. Um, this bottle, again, on Amazon is like 15-ish dollars. But it's a big bottle, 16.7 ounces, compared to your standard drugstore size, which is more like 6 to 8 ounces. I really think it's a really good bang for your buck. Um, so at least I was able to, some of it was salvaged, and then I have a new bottle on the way um, for free, which is great. And then the next product I picked up is this uh, L'Oreal product. It, this is the Pure Sugar Scrub. The box looked like this but it's all wet here. Um, and they have a few different um, scrubs in this line. This is the one that I was most uh, intrigued by. It's like a kiwi scent. Let me go ahead and open it and show you guys the consistency. There we go. It's like a gel scrub. Um, I'm really excited to try this. Uh, I've seen a few people on YouTube talk about it, and I love exfoliants, so I'm very excited for this. Um, it was like 10 bucks ish 9 to $10. You can get it in like Walmart and Target. You just have to look in the L'Oreal section and just look for this box because it won't come like this. It'll come in a box like this. So I'll let you guys know how that is. And then lastly, I'm very excited to try this. It's by The Ordinary, which is a brand that I have been hearing about non-stop for the past year you might have been too this is the 100 percent cold pressed virgin marula oil and it's a daily support oil for hair and skin let me go ahead and open this the box is really wet from that leak but the bottle is fine so the bottle looks like this um and it's just a couple drops a day on your face um marula oil is really good for your skin i've been doing a lot of research lately on skincare because i really really want to get more into skincare and taking better care of my skin now that I'm getting older. So yeah, and this was actually pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of the facial oils I've seen. And this brand is actually really inexpensive, I think, compared to a lot of higher end brands. Again, this is a brand you could check it out. They have a ton of different products um, and they're a really, really good company. So I'm very excited for this. But anyways, guys, that is everything I got from all the stores and then Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.